Hey, this is Chelsea Voller from the Multimedia Production Program at Lethbridge College. Today, let's talk about how to create an animated walk cycle in After Effects using the Puppet Tool. So first we have to create our character. So let's open Illustrator. Um, the size doesn't matter, but what's important here is making sure the color mode is RGB. Just open that document. Here's the canvas here and basically just grab a tool and start drawing your character. I'll use the ellipse tool here and draw a head out here, some eyes. Maybe I'll copy and paste this to make sure the eyes are the same size. Use the pen tool and draw out some funky hair. And kind of just make it rough and then uh, adjust it afterwards. So basically you want to create all the different body parts. So, so everything included in the head will be the hair, the eyes, the mouth, anything, uh, any other details. And you'll also create a body. Now this is different than the pelvis. You'll need a body and the pelvis, two separate uh, items. And then of course your arms and your legs. The uh, arm will be the complete arm, including hand, wrist, elbow, all, all of those joints. And your leg will include the foot or the shoe or however you design your character. So go through and um, detail up your character, add some color. Uh, you can press pause here and finish up the details of your character. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. I have my character all designed here, added some color. Uh, if you notice, the front arm is a little bit darker blue than the body, and the back arm is a little lighter blue, and that's just to... Uh, to see the difference of the arm there. Uh, just resize your canvas, grab the artboard tool, and bring it down, uh, scale it down about the size of your character. We don't need the huge canvas. And then we want to uh, create layers with each of these body parts. So if you don't see your layers panel, go up to the window in, me in the menu and find your layers panel. I'm gonna just undock mine here and then I see that everything is on one layer. So just go ahead and make a bunch of blank layers using the new layer button. Uh, so the first layer, the top layer, is going to be the head. So select everything, all the details that are included in the head, the hair, the eyeballs, the mouth, nose, everything that you've created. And then there's this little icon here, the blue icon. If you click and drag that color up to another layer, it will actually drop uh, all of the selected items onto a new layer. So I'll move that up to the top and release there and I can see everything is, has that green color and I can hide and show and see that that head is now a separate layer. So go ahead and do that with uh, each of the layers, one layer for the arm, one layer for the body, the other arm, pelvis, and both legs individually. If you have your body and your pelvis drawn in the same image, you will have to separate them. They do need to be separate. And then once you have all of your layers separated, you can delete the extra layers that you have. And then go through and name each of the layers accordingly. Uh, so the first layer is the head. I can hide and show just in case I don't know which layer is which. Um, I'm gonna, I, you can label your arms, left arm and right arm, for this example, I'm going to use front arm and back arm just to make it a little bit more easy to animate rather than trying to figure, it, figure out if it's her left or my left that I'm trying to look at. Once you have all that labeled, before we export, make sure you just double check the document color mode uh, and that it's set to RGB. It, this won't uh, work quite properly if it's in CMYK. So go up to File, Export, and the format to choose is Photoshop. So you can name your document. 
I'm going to just save mine to the desktop here. Girl character. All right. And uh, another important part is to make sure your color mode is RGB and choose right layers. This will make sure that each layer is saved separately and will open in Photoshop as separate layers. So now with Photoshop open, I'm actually going to just kind of move these windows around here. And I'm going to just bring this up. There we go. And click and drag your Photoshop file right into Photoshop. You can see in the layers panel that each of those labeled layers that we created in Illustrator have transferred straight over to Photoshop, which is awesome. So now you can go through each of these layers and add your own effects. I can add a drop shadow, maybe a bit of an inner glow, uh, just to make the character pop a little bit more. This is just an option, but the more work you put into your character, the, the more minor details that you add, the, the more believable uh, your animated character becomes. So once I have one effect added to one of the layers, I can just right click on that layer, copy the layer style and select the rest of my layers and paste that layer style. So the rest of my layers have those styles. I could also add some sort of texture to each of my layers. So I'll just choose a pattern. I don't know, whichever, whichever one you want. You could also bring in a texture file if you have a separate file that is uh, copyright friendly. Uh, choose a blend mode that you can kind of see the uh, the pattern on your object a little bit, but it doesn't overwhelm the entire object. Maybe change down or turn down the opacity a little bit here. That looks good. You can see a little bit of the texture in the hair. So we want to add this texture to all of our layers. So just uh, drag a copy to your your new layer icon and uh, make a bunch of layers here and it'll start getting darker and darker but we are going to kind of mask that to each layer separately. And then just drag each of those copied textures or patterns that you've created uh, above each of your uh, layers that you created in Illustrator. And then you're going to have to actually delete uh, this link here, uh, right click and just disable the mask because we're creating our own mask. So hover over the icon of your, the, the image in your head layer and hold command. And if you click on that, you can see on your canvas that everything on that layer has been selected. Now with your pattern or texture layer selected, just go down here and hit the mask button in your layers panel. And you'll see that now it's created a new mask and this texture or pattern has just been applied to these individual layers. So as we go through and mask out these pa this pattern to each of these layers, you can see that each body part has a bit of that texture to it. Now one last thing we need to do before we export uh, this Photoshop file or save this Photoshop file is we need to combine these layers. So click on your texture layer and your head layer or and any other layers that you've added to increase the detail of your character. Right click on it and convert to smart object. And then you're going to have to go through and rename uh, each body part again. This just makes it a lot easier when we bring this into After Effects.
And that's the end of part one. Check out part two to learn how to animate your character in After Effects.